everybody, it's Martin at Flick and Feathers again. Today I'm continuing with my Beginner's Fly Tying series. Um, this is just a, a very simple but very effective fly. It's the Fratnik or F Fly. Um, very easy to tie, you can tie them in a whole range of sizes. I mean, even as big as about a, t a 10 or an 8 if you've got some really big caddis. Um, I mean, where I come from, we'd have what we'd call the Great Reds. And they were huge. Uh, just change the colour of the body. So I'm tying this on a TMCO 103BL. This is a size 15. Um, and I'm going to use some olive Vivas, Vivas 10 knot thread. Obviously, change the colour um, to suit the colour of what you're tying. For the body, I'm using super fine, super fine dry fly dubbing. I'm just and what colour is this? The, I mean, doesn't matter the exact colour. This is just the plain olive. But um, I mean, there's a few different. There's dark olive. There's the honey olive. A few different olive options. Doesn't really matter, right? Tie them to match what you're fishing. And where you're fishing, and just make sure you tease this stuff out because it's because it's so fine. Um, you can end up with clumps if you're not careful. So build a nice fine noodle, and then dub dub it forward. Right about a slight taper as you go. And you can go back just to get a bit of a taper in there, I need a bit more dubbing. Stuff if dead light, way too much now. Take some of that back off. Right. So again, just dump this on. See, there I've got a wee heavy clump where it's bunched, but I'll just I'll just run my thread over it. I get a wee pinch. And that will include it and incorporate it into the body. So I've stopped, I've left myself 2mm um, on this size. Normally, when you tie an F fly, you would, if you just tie like the, the, the standard F fly, you would tie a bit further forward and would just leave yourself a, about a millimetre. Um, but I don't, I'm just tying a slight variation uh, and adding a wee sort of thoracic area. It's up to you if you do that. Um, you don't have to by any means. You could just tie the wing and finish the head. The wing has CDC, right? the canard, it's a duck feather, naturally naturally oiled and, and buoyant. Went the wing, the whole length of the the fly, the whole length of the body, and I just take a loop of thread up between my fingers and the feather and tie it down. And take two or three wraps. And I'll bring a few wraps in front. Another wrap over, wrap under, and that locks it in place nicely. And just trim away your waist. 
that's it, and that's, uh, sorry, that's, I don't know if I mentioned it already, three or four feathers, it sort of depends on the, how big your feathers are and the size of fly you're tying, but in this size I've used, I think, three there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh. Then just to build up the wee thorax area, the same dubbin. Super fine dry fly dubbin. Nice rope. Just take it forward. And you can wind your thread through it just to sort of help get the shape. And then that's it, nice and simple. All you need to do is whip finish it. And there you have it, the F fly or Fratnik, very effective little dry fly. Make that area a bit flatter. You can use it when there's mayflies hatching, you can use it for a caddis imitation, you know, you could use it tight really small and black when they're smutting. It's a very good little pattern, very effective. So I hope that was useful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and I hope you can tie some of these up and I hope you can catch some fish in them. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up below if you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe for more HD fly tying videos. Bye.